Questions swirl over a scuttled plea deal in the Hunter Biden case and the ongoing DOJ probe. But now the White House is dismissing a potential pardon. Take a listen. From a presidential perspective, is there any possibility that the president would end up pardoning his son? No. Well, is there, has I, I just said no. I just That's answered. Go ahead. Go ahead. She said no. End of story. Let's bring in Kendall Coffey, former federal prosecutor. Um, Kendall, thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Thank you for inviting me. It, it, of course. Let's start off with this. I mean, is a new plea deal even possible when the DOJ still has this ongoing investigation of Hunter Biden, along with these whistleblowers' claims that the probe itself has been mishandled? What say you? If there's an active investigation and it really is unresolved, uh, this wouldn't be the time for a plea deal. And, and so in the sense that the judge wanted to examine, well, how much immunity for other things are you giving? Uh, and she wanted that resolved before a plea deal could be finalized. That makes a lot of sense. Normally, the defense would never want to plea guilty and then have your client exposed to more serious charges that could be coming down months later. Yeah. So in 30 days, are we in the same spot that we were on Wednesday, Kendall? Or, or where are we a month from now? I think there's going to be an attempt to really clarify on both sides what really is the exposure remaining for Hunter Biden outside of these charges, which are limited focus of the charges. If the, but what we'll find out is if there really is a significant ongoing investigation or if it's just one of those, the investigation is continuing. I, 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 would, I would just note that there are many times when, when prosecutors even if they don't really have any plans to add new charges, we'll say the investigation is ongoing. Okay. Why? Because that encourages other witnesses to come forward with information that you don't have. Uh, but, but in this case, uh, that needs to be clarified to know if it's a deal that makes sense. Yeah, I guess we'll just stay tuned. Uh, let, let's talk about this pardon and the soundbite that we just played off the top here. Do you think a White House pardon of Hunter Biden is, is truly off the table as Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre just indicated. And do you think Hunter Biden and his defense attorney have kind of been banking on having that or some sort of plea deal in their back pocket this whole time? Well, I believe the White House when they say that they have no intention of granting a pardon. And I believe that that's what they're, they're saying and, and truly believing. But let's just get to a scenario. Biden is either reelected or not reelected after November. At that point, he's he's beyond any accountability from voters ever again. What would happen there? We know this is a man that deeply loves his son, as his, most most fathers do. Um, and I, I would never say never about something like that. OK. All right. Well, Kendall Coffey, um, thanks so much for your time this morning. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.